Hey guys, Bored now back with you, and on this video I will be reviewing the third episode of the first season of Upload, the new Greg Daniels show from Amazon Prime. And the episode is called Funeral, so no, no prizes for guessing, it centres on the funeral of Nathan in, in the afterlife in Lakeview and kind of the run up to it and then the drama of what happens at the funeral and this is easily the weakest episode so far out of the opening three there's a couple of reasons for that and firstly because you get pretty much no like scenes with Nathan and Nora um, you, you don't get any really the only sort of slight one you get is that because at the funeral as well as obviously people physically being at the funeral in, in Lakeview you, you, it's also set up so you can have like a video like connection so people back on earth can also see the funeral so Nora as, as, as we saw at the end of last um the last episode was obviously more we we could see that she wanted to do this she, she was very eager um to attend so she shows up in like this little church room where it's being screened <laughs> and there's a little bit where because she's actually sitting with like these these or behind these three other girls who are all as it happens, ex girlfriends of Nathan, and and they all know each other, so so they get chatting to Nora a bit, uh, just because she comments on something on the screen, because there's this gag where um like they randomly start having like waves and uh, shots of the sea, and one of them asks, you know what what's with the waves and Nora obviously because she 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 works at the tech place obviously knows these things so she says it's normally used to cut up, like cover up something rude so a bit of nudity so in this case he he was probably masturbating because it's basically it's showing like clips of Nathan's life and there's this scene with his father where they're like watching tennis and I think the dad leaves the room or something and they, and then you get the wave so obviously the gag is that Nathan is like masturbating to because it's like a female tennis player so so they get talking because of Nora explaining that but there's just a small little bit where Nathan actually gets to see the viewing room on the video screen and he actually notices um, Nora in the back there because he notices the three other girls first and it's like oh hi sees Nora and it's at that point where Ingrid like cuts away because she says, that's enough of you know talking to your ex girlfriends um, so I think that's one that's one reason why it's not a very good episode I think because for me so far I have been invested in in their relationship Noah and um and Nathan's so so I think they've got really good chemistry the actors so it does suffer a bit if you have an episode where they're not really together I think also the stuff with Ingrid and Nathan is is really now treading water a bit or starting to anyway I think because it's so obvious then they're ultimately it's going to lead to to him and Nora in a way and ultimately Ingrid is going to be she's just going to do one too many things and Nathan's basically gonna like dump her at some point it, it's like obviously really obvious then then they don't have a future him and Ingrid so I think it's getting to the point where that's starting to tread water I mean there's one or two interesting things in there because it's mentioned in this then obviously she's paying for for his whole like thing at Lakeview so there's almost a threat where she she like 
kind of complains about at one point she shows him like his bill at the moment and almost complains about the amount of money she's spending on on his like him being there and that it, it can be deleted at any time so it almost sort of calls his his bluff really um and i think in, in a funny sort of way he probably does want to stay there because then he has the um relationship the connection with nora um so there are one or two uh, uh, interesting ideas but I, I think the problem with with um ingrid is then she's just such a kind of like stereotypical like shallow type blonde girl and i think at the moment because she's so much in in the focus you get so much of her and she's the sort of character which would work can work well as like comic relief and and quite quite ironic or you could do it so she's very shallow but the writing somehow makes her quite endearing like there's a charm to her naivety but clearly that they, they haven't gone that way neither they have gone sort of full-blown sort of shallow and um obviously you're meant to feel sorry for nathan so i i think it's it's kind of getting to the stage three episodes in where i think as i said they are treading more with um ingrid and it's also just the problem of it's it's very basic stuff a lot of the humor with her is very run-of-the-mill sort of humor that, that you've seen a lot of times before um yeah it's it's very kind of repetitive so so she's kind of like checking on how much food is being taken at the funeral for example she's kind of because at one point we get this character of fran who it's actually like revealed later is actually like related to nathan i think she's a she's either like an aunt or a cousin or, or something like that i think a cousin because there's not that much age difference i don't think between them but there's this scene where she's like probing um ingrid and she's asking questions so it's it's presented that she is like a private detective but that becomes a gag later because when when she talks to nathan and, and says she's been like doing some fishing around he, he like points out well you you're just a middle school teacher w which isn't a bad reveal when gag but there's a scene as i said when she's asking ingrid questions and yeah that again brings up the suspicious circumstances of nathan's dead death because she she asks ingrid um ingrid basically defends herself and says well see he was dying um but then fran's like well but was he though because i heard something different from from like the the doctors um so there's this question mark hanging and that, that could as i said before that could be quite an interesting thing like the tension there um yeah the, the whole mystery behind was he murdered what exactly went down there and i think maybe we're gonna lead to something where maybe ingrid knew than something like if he was murdered for example maybe she she had prior knowledge sort of thing i i think it, it could lead somewhere like that um but yeah there's just a little quip from ingrid like yeah you 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 know that's a lot of hors d'oeuvres or something when when she first sees her and then that's some she makes some quip about her hair like her hair's really like terrible something where when it's clearly not um and i know it's a gag but it's it's pretty old hat that that sort of shallow type gag um 
And I think a, a lot of like the stuff with Ingridge in this episode is getting pretty pretty weak because in the first scene when they're like getting ready for the funeral, yeah, Ingridge just like because Nathan's trying on all these outfits and Ingridge's kind of like at one point, well, you you look like the missing Jonas brother in 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 that outfit. And it's all surprising coming from Greg Daniels, because actually in the first episode, for those who saw that video, I did actually enjoy the humour, and I think, as I said, the lighter touched, I think, did add, add something in that first episode. But I think they got a better balance there, which is another problem with this episode, is I think it's so humour-driven. And unfortunately, the humour... It, there's one or two good gags in this episode, but overall I didn't really laugh that much. So there's the problem of it being so humour-driven, dri- sorry, and the humour not being sharp enough. But there's also the problem of that they've kind of lost their that balance where there's not enough of the kind of interesting sci-fi type stuff to balance out the humour. Um, but yeah, I, I do think the Ingrid stuff is is actually really weak in in this episode. It's it's just stuff like her, you know, when 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 they're supposed to be focusing on his funeral, and um, she she she's constantly distracted. She constantly is concerned about getting herself ready or doing something like like that involves her. And they, they eventually have this fight with um, at the funeral kind of thing because, well, I sort of hinted at it because it's when she shows him like like the sort of um, the bill for his time at Lakeview so far. But it's when he kind of finally gets frustrated at the focus all being on her because she does like this shallow speech where it's basically me, me, me sort of thing. And eventually he just gets really upset because, yeah, this is my funeral. Um, But the funeral overall, there's one or two nice touches, but overall they they don't really do that much. I think the problem is they're just jumping around too much. And it's almost just like this, there's the quirky little moments that maybe don't amount to much. Um, you, you get this subplot with this character of Luke, who we saw briefly in the last episode, and he's taken an, an interest in Nathan. He, for some reason, I, I wasn't quite sure about that. I think because maybe he's starting having similar anxieties to what Nathan's been having. And he's this quite sort of flamboyant character who wants to be at the funeral and it dresses up quite sort of fancy he wants to impress Nathan for some reason as I said I think it's similar anxieties because he, he's getting the, the the talking dog therapy treatment in this episode but again not a lot interesting going on in this episode I didn't really care about the Luke side of things and I didn't really find his stuff like funny at all um you also get the experiment you get um the actual upload ex- oh s- sorry download in this case and we actually see a cameo from Creed himself Creed from the office involved because in this you get the first ever human to experiment so they experiment to try and bring him back, basically, from um, Lake, I think, Lakeview to, to Earth, or his consciousness, and it's actually Creed from The Office playing him, which makes sense, because Greg Daniels obviously knows the actor, and, yeah, not surprisingly, the experiment goes wrong, but this is obviously the, the work that, Nathan and um, 
his his business partner or his yeah his buddy his business partner were working on so it's kind of melancholic for, for nathan because that's happening and he can see it on the screen and obviously ingrid being shadow ingrid doesn't want to focus on that but yeah something goes wrong like the the, the guy played by creed and because his real name's creed as well creed Breton or something Britain but yeah he starts pleading from the nose and something goes wrong with the experiment but but that's the thing and that that was obviously quite predictable because I think obviously you you just figure there had to be something that went wrong plus I think if if they could do it this early in the show it, it would seem like a bit too soon I think and it might make the whole thing redundant in some ways the fact that you can just reverse like the upload um but there's a little bit more with Nora at the end and investigating because when she comes home from the funeral she actually like has a video call with like the guy at the tech company who they were obviously originally they were taking Nathan and the other guy's idea and he's just caught in like an awkward moment when she's talking about him because like he reveals them which obviously he wasn't supposed to do that then they didn't then yeah basically they they didn't say no to the idea which had had been claimed but and then he realised saying too much and he kind of hangs up would but that's kind of a cliffhanger type thing. So obviously we're gonna get more of Noah or Nora, sorry, investigating that stuff, but but pretty lame episode didn't really do much for me. Episode three. So I'll have to see how it goes because it has sort of gone down in quality over the three the 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 pilot episode was definitely the best for me um and second one was a bit more hit and miss but but still quite still decent enough this episode as i said like the weakest there's some some pretty lame humor in it so there you have it that's the third episode of upload and let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know how you're feeling about the series as a whole. Um, just keep it spoiler free if you have seen the whole of season one. But I'll be back soon with the next review of it. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.